said the table to the chair. You can hardly be aware how I suffer from the heat and from chillblains on my feet. If we took a little walk, we might have a little talk. Pray, let us take the air, said the table to the chair. Said the chair unto the table, Now you know we are not able. How foolishly you talk when you know we cannot walk. Said the table with a sigh, It can do no harm to try. I have as many legs as you. Why can't we walk on two? So they both went slowly down and walked about the town with a cheerful bumpy sound as they toddled round and round and everybody cried as they hastened to their side. See, the table and the chair have come out to take the air. But in going down an alley to a castle in the valley, they completely lost their way and wandered all the day, till to see them safely back, they paid a ducky quack, and a beetle and a mouse who took them to their house. Then they whispered to each other, Oh, delightful little brother, what a lovely walk we've taken. Let us dine on beans and bacon. So the ducky and the leetle, brown mousy and the beetle, dined and danced upon their heads till they toddled to their beds.